Now, the most important news of the week. As you may have noticed, modern cars now are being given electronic handbrakes rather than a lever, OK? Now, this is a problem because you can't do a handbrake turn mm -hmm. with the, an electronic button. And this is bad news because handbrake turns are an essential part of male development mm. because, as we all know, <laughs> the handbrake lever is connected directly to a girl's sexual appetite. It is. <laughs> It is. When you're 17, it is. You know it is. You see, it in the animal kingdom. A peacock has his feathers. The young man has his handbrake. Exactly. They do the same job. Yeah. And if you have a button, it doesn't work. No. I can remember my first attempt at seduction with the handbrake when I was 17 years old. I was going to pick up this girl called Liz from outside a pub, and I had it all planned. I would go in and I'd get on the handbrake and slew it round like the Italian job, and the rest was a formality, obviously. <laughs> I went through the gate quite hot. Pulled on the lever, and that was when the cable snapped. <laughs> I think it was because I'd spent the previous day practicing, you see. And I'd Only <laughs> you would practice your handbrake turn oh, ready for a day. You have to be your time. What? I, no, I remember taking a girl called Kathy home one night. I was 17 in my mum's Audi. And she lived in the middle of a field. And I do mean right in the middle of a field. No tracks or anything. Oh, so was she called Ermintrude? <laughs> Nice big bell. No, <laughs> she wasn't a cow mm. or a horse. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going down the grassy hill to the house and thought, I know what'll tip her over the edge. <laughs> so I pirouetted oh. straight through her dad's hedge. <laughs> was she impressed? She, well, no, I know she was because she pulled a face that was exactly like this. <laughs> They pull in that part of the mating ritual, I know, because I have seen that face. <laughs> when I was a young man, 17, borrowed my dad's car, Diesel Astra Estate, and I was giving Katie from college a lift home. She lived in a farm down farm tracks, and I'd already warmed her up with a bit of rally driving. <laughs> <laughs> there was already a sexual tension in the car. <laughs> and I thought, I'll seal the deal with the handbrake lever. Yanked it on, slewed round, hit a rock, and she pulled that exact <laughs> What the... Oh, did, sometimes girls say, what did you do that for? That's it. But, but, but what did... they're actually saying is, I'm ready. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I never I'm got... Just, uh... What? I never got that face from Liz, because as far as she was concerned, she didn't know I'd tried to do a handbrake turn, because I just got that twang. It was the only twang I got on that evening, actually. <laughs> but as, far, as far as she could see, I just parked badly the wrong way round and just got out of the car. She just thought I was an arse. I think I know why they're doing it. It's to cut down on unwanted teenage pregnancy. Yeah. And it could work. It's a clever it thought. It will probably work, but it'll also cut down on the future of mankind. I think it's a response. No, because if you think about it, if a man can't use a handbrake to pull a girl, what's he going to do? There's going to be a lot of frustrated men around. You may have to talk to her. No! <laughs> Car makers, please stop it. <laughs> You're meddling with forces unseen and more powerful than you. Can we get back to cars?